Yeah, Mark Anderson, officer in charge of uh, Mudra Police Station. Do you have a spiel that you want to give us first? Or? Spiel? Yeah. What happened? Oh, we're going now? Where do you go? Up we go. Right. Okay. We're at uh, approximately 12.40 last, uh, this early hours of this morning. Uh, there's a single vehicle accident at Spencer Road, uh, Meringue, where a uh, vehicle collided with the rear of a parked double uh, semi-trailer and two persons have been deceased. What about the driver? The driver of the vehicle has uh, decamped the scene and police are making investigations to ascertain the identity of this person. Was there anyone else in the car besides the two deceased and the driver? Uh, that's not known at this stage. That's why we'd like to uh, definitely contact the driver and ascertain what uh, he's got to say about the matter. There was a woman that was um, filmed. Do we, do we know what her, how she fits into it? She no, I haven't got that information with me. Is there anyone that was able to witness the events leading up to the crash? Uh, the semi-trailer driver was uh, asleep in his cabin. He just dropped off a load at Narang. Uh, he immediately after the accident uh, exited his vehicle and then uh, saw the deceased and contacted the police. Was he travelling through or is he from the local area at all? Or? I'm not aware of that. Can you just describe the, the area to us and you know, what likely happened? I mean, they must have been, the car must have been travelling at pretty high speed. Well, Spencer Road in the rain is an uh, industrial area, so there's a lot of light uh, industry down there. Uh, the driver was there dropping off a load to uh, some factories. So it's a quite an isolated area at night. Uh, there's, there's no uh, residents living in those areas. So we are uh, pretty much unknown at this stage, apart from the driver and his information supplied to us. And is he still there? It's still... That's correct. Do you know anything more about the car, where it was stolen from, when? Yes, we know where the vehicle has been stolen from, but we're not releasing details at this stage. It's still subject to investigation by the Coomer District Detectives and we'll know more as the uh, day progresses. Some suggestion there was some stolen items in the car as well. Do we know if it... Yeah, there's, there's other matters under investigation this stage. We're not at liberty to uh, divulge our information this time, but in due course that'll be released to the media. Yeah, the car well, we've got the forensic crash unit down there at the current time from Kimber District, and they're ascertaining the, the speed of the vehicle this time. But obviously, there's some inattention involved, and possibly speed because they've collided with the rear of a, of a semi trailer that was legally parked in the industrial area and, and entitled to be there. And they were too young, men, were they? Two, two males in their 20s. Have yeah, they probably. been identified? No, not at this stage. The families uh, have not been advised, so we're not releasing any names at this stage. Are you able to release their ages? They're, they're, they're in their early 20s. Probably from the Gold Coast area. From the Gold Coast area, yes. That's a, two, two young lives in such a horrific circumstance. It must be a pretty tough sort of thing to, to see and for the officers to deal with. Yeah, so once again, it's a you know a traumatic situation and it's uh, bad for the families, it's bad for the police and, and bad for the, uh, the truck driver. Uh, there's no, no winners in a situation like this. It's uh, very difficult for everybody. And where's the vehicle now? Has it been... Okay. The vehicle's been seized and towed to the police holding facility at Wilderness. Is the media able to access that to the photographs? Not at this stage, no. Is the driver uh, the truck driver at all now? No, the truck driver was asleep in his uh, cabin. He uh, felt the, the, obviously the jolt and he exited his vehicle and uh, you know, obviously saw a horrific uh, sight at that uh, accident location. How's he holding up? Quite well at this stage, yes. Yeah. He's being interviewed by police. Yeah. And did the two young men die immediately? Do we know that sort of information? I believe at this stage yeah, it was, um, um, would have been quite quick, yes. The guy that's uh, run, it adds an extra element for you guys to comprehend someone fleeing from that sort of scene. Leaving. Yes, it uh, you know, begs belief that, you know, obviously this will presume these people know each other. And then once again, uh, they've left the scene of an accident, left their friends you know, to die a horrible death and then uh, not contribute to trying to assist these people, and that's quite disturbing. Uh, suggests that he had a reason to flee with what you said about other matters to be investigated? Perhaps that might be the case, or he's uh, yeah, not thinking straight. Do you think he may be injured as well, or is he just Yeah, well, we'd like to hear from anybody uh, who knows this driver to contact us. Obviously, he's going to have some sort of injuries due to the injuries sustained by the, the deceased. So if anybody out there knows of any uh, person with an unexplained injury, Facial, facial injury or chest injuries. We'd love to hear from them. We 
Was he the driver, sorry, uh, Mark? The fellow that's, that's left, he's the driver? Or? We presume that he would be, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, what, what state's the car in? Is it in one piece? Or? Yeah, the vehicle is in one piece, but it's got obviously uh, damage on the left-hand side. We believe that the, the deceased was a uh, front, front seat passenger and a rear seat passenger. And the driver obviously has left the other side of the vehicle that was not significantly damaged. Are you surprised though that um, he's managed to get out of it, given what's happened to the other two guys? As well? Yes, it is surprising. And we expect that there'll be some injuries. Yeah. And uh, was the truck parked in a safe location? Yes, it was. Yes. There's no issue uh, with the parking of the vehicle at this stage that I'm aware of. Is that an accepted practice in that area for truck drivers to park in when they drop loads off, uh, they've got to comply with logbook entries in relation to gaining us sleep so they can then move on to their next load. So he was doing the correct thing as far as uh, I'm aware at this stage. And do you have an age for the truck driver? No, I don't at this stage. So you can't say whether the car was involved in an incident beforehand? Sorry, I, I can't hear you. You can't say whether that was involved in a break or anything like that, the car beforehand? Uh, no, we're not releasing those details at this time. It's uh, subject to investigation by the Coomera detectives, and those details will be released at a later stage. Is it believed there was um, there may be they may have been acting suspiciously in the lead up to, to, to the accident? Would you say that? Uh, we're not going to make any comments on that. Is there any indication that there could be another car, a drag race, or anything like that? Not at this time.